obviously winning was an experience I'll never forget. But leading up to it, um, although there was a lot of ups and downs going through it with the guys that we had and the team that we did, um, you experienced something else that I've never experienced before. And you know, everybody's had their ups and downs, but uh, with the guys that we had, um, it was a really different experience. And although there was a lot of downs for us, it was still a lot of fun. You know, uh, you know going out there, practicing. Turn into a three on three after uh, the UNH and just having fun, learning what it's all about again. It was a really great experience. And then obviously winning, going through regionals against Miami and Denver it was an awesome experience. And then once we got to Nebraska and Boston University, it just took off from there. And it's something I'll never forget. And it's still hard to describe for a lot of guys I've talked to recently. And you know, it was just a great experience. What made that team special? Um, I've never had a connection that I've, that I still have with uh, everybody, and um, you know when people say family and brothers, uh, there's a lot of teams that say that about one another, and there's guys that you know just bond together in a different way, and have been a part of a lot of different teams with a lot of strong relationships, but um, the, you know we called it the brotherhood pretty much, and you know everyone was always there for each other and. Even off the ice, it was, you know, you, some te some people always question if people are uh, as close as they are at the rink, off the ice, and you know, around the dorms and at school. And I can say that we were. And everyone got to uh, everything we did off the ice was together, and everyone always stuck together. So we're always by each other's side. What was your role on the team? Um, my ro my role was just to be as uh, as good of a leader as I could be, and uh, on the ice, you know, just shut down the D zone, be as physical presence as much as possible. Uh, just keep it simple, just make that first pass, get my shots through, and, you know, on the PK, if, when I was out there, just keep it simple, and block as many shots as possible. And, and, you know, special teams, if I was on the power play, just get my shots on that and create a, create a scrum down low for the forwards. Yeah, um, um, yeah um, playing in that championship game, just what was that like? You know, being from Boston, it was just a great feeling. You know, I think I had 30 of my family members there, so it was a great feeling. Just doing, stepping on the ice the first time with everybody and the lights off, it was one of the best feelings I've had. And playing at the Garden was something we missed out with on Hockey East, so we knew being there for a national championship was a way bigger deal, and it was just an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, and then, and then playing in that game in front of friends and family and all that, and then scoring the opening goal as well. Was that any? Was that anything what you expected coming into the game? What was that? Uh, yeah, I did. I definitely didn't expect to score. Um, but you know, it's, I was lucky enough to get the shot through. And after I scored, I don't really remember what happened. I just remember everyone coming over to me, and it, you know, it was kind of just a blur after it went in. I saw a celebration. I don't really remember doing that, but uh, it was an unbelievable feeling after, yeah, after and, it happened. Yeah, and, and, and how cool was it to be in that game playing against Boston as well, just playing against that school? That was that was the, probably the biggest thing because, you know, them being so close, uh, they had a lot more fans than we did, and, uh, you know, it was kind of going in as an underdog, which we all knew, and that was a lot of... Uh, that was difficult to handle at first because we knew it was gonna, the atmosphere was going to be on their side and uh, going in the underdog. But um, playing against BU in Boston was uh, we knew it was going to be tough, but it was a lot of fun because we uh, we were, we knew we were the underdogs and that was a good feeling for us going in because we we knew we deserved to be there and wanted to prove it. Yeah, and and and, and playing against Eichel also just um, and and. Especially playing defense, I'm not sure if it was like your role to kind of like mark him or anything, but just what was it like trying to play against him and, and, and just like try to, I guess, calm him down a little bit? I'm glad I don't have to anymore, but uh, he's he's an unbelievable player and um, they actually scored the two fastest goals in Frozen Four history. And I was on the ice for the second one and he just, defending him, is, he's definitely the hardest player that I've played against in my life. So, you know, he's an unbelievable player. And then Rodriguez, too, he, they're both unbelievable players. And 
it was difficult, and that uh, second goal they scored when uh, Jack actually just split the D. It was, you can see how explosive he is and how powerful he is in the forward, so it's, it was difficult, but uh, you know, I was out there a good amount against him. I just did my best to try and play the body on him and you know, shut him down, but you know, it's it's not an easy task to do. So. Yeah. Have you talked? Have you talked about the the game with him and your battles no. and stuff like that? No. 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 The the game hasn't come up between uh, Jack uh, or Evan, but uh, I kind of hope it doesn't, just because you know it's it's over with, and they both have a. Uh, long career ahead of them to focus on. You know, they both had awesome careers at BU, so they have nothing to hang their heads about. And, you know, Jack with the Hobie and Emily Hockey in the regular season. It's, they both had awesome seasons, so, um, you know, just let them do their thing. You know, they're here, they're, and they're, uh, they're both impact players, so they're both doing great this week, and just want to let them focus on their game. For you individually, what are you trying to get accomplished this week and, and then throughout the summer? You know, I just, I just want to, this week I want to learn on what I have to do to get better, what my, my weaknesses are that I don't see as a player. Um, because, you know, obviously I know that I need to get faster and stronger. But um, with the coaches, they obviously know more and the little details in the game that they'll tell me and that I'll need to work on. So I basically, I just want to learn as much as possible. And, you know, it's my third camp, so I just want to, be as good of a leader as possible for the younger guys and the free agents that have been to other camps but not this one. So just want to work on being a leader, especially going back next season with uh, the title of the fan. I just want to, you know, it's going to be tough. With, uh, we just lost our captain, so just want to uh, learn. Uh, you know, there's a lot of older guys with Austin here too. He's a, he's a great leader, and I can learn a lot from him. And I uh, just want to become a better leader and, you know, the coach is telling me what, uh, you know, foot speed and obviously all that little stuff, but there's little parts of the game and little details that they see and I don't know, so it's, you know, it's just a learning experience for everyone. I remember talking to you with the draft and the scouting report said you liked that hit and you were like, oh yeah, is that still a good part of your game? Yeah, you yeah, it's, uh, it's the easiest thing to do for me, I think, you know, just run into people, but um, yeah, it's, that's where I can be the, uh, that's my biggest aspect for my game, my biggest strength, because uh, my three older brothers have always been getting hit, and uh, it, it's just, I'm always a little bigger than most guys, so, you know, it just makes it easier for me, and creates a, creates an outlet for the force, you know, just being physical down low, and makes it easier for me, you know, just being a bigger guy, and, you know, there's always D-men there, you know, fast and laterally, better moving, but for me, just playing as physical as possible just keeps it simple for me and makes me more comfortable back there. Do you, I mean, do you look at Friday as an audition type thing? I don't know what to call it, but uh, I mean, you fought last year. I mean, guys really don't fight in those scrimmages. I mean, do, do you look at that as a showcase for you Friday? I mean, yeah, last year uh, fighting against Kia, um, everyone was like, oh, you just fought to fight. It was like, no, I mean, we went down a third goal, I'm pretty sure, and you know, the team needed uh, a little spark, and I can play that role. And you know, although it's a development camp, you're supposed to show what you do best. And you know, being a physical guy and not afraid to fight, and you know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes for the team. So it's just something I had to do because the guys out here, the playmakers and uh, goal scorers, if you need a fighter, you need a fighter. So I was just trying to show what I can do. And you know, if I got beat up. I got beat up, but it's just. I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes for the team. Just set a set some momentum for us. They're starting to see an opportunity here because a lot of their good young defensemen are already in the NHL. They might be your age, but they're already in the league. Do you, do you see an opportunity, you know, a year from now to, to turn pro or anything like that? I take it day by day. Um, you know, it's been a long, long, long journey, but um, you know, day by day is how I'm not looking too far ahead. And right now, I'm going back to school. And then just focus on the Providence season, but right now I'm really focusing on our workout that we have at 115, so I'm just taking it day by day. How far do you feel you've come in the three years you've been a part of this camp? Um, physically, I've come a long way. I was a lot heavier my first year, but um, 
playing wise, you know, I've learned a lot, and my game has changed since my first year. Um, my confidence has gotten a lot higher too, but I've also matured as a person off the ice, and that's helped me on the ice and you know preparing for camp and um, you know three years ago I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it to be as like how I am now physically. Um, I lost a lot of weight and really matured with you know nutrition and taking it a lot more serious than I used to. So. How's that how's the weight loss? How is that attributed to your on ice play? I mean Sorry. do you the, feel the door open I couldn't hear you. Oh how is the weight loss attributed to your on ice play? Do you feel just faster? Do you feel like you can move around better or? Yeah, yeah um, you know I was twenty eight pounds heavier so um, I feel a lot lighter on my feet and laterally it's easier to move and feel faster than I was. Um, obviously, everyone feels different now than they do during their actual seasons. And it's July, but um, during my past two seasons, I felt a lot better on my feet and moving laterally.